So, I'm a body language speaker. And what I do is I speak to groups of people about making a good first impression, about handshakes, about throwing the best foot forward, uh, about you know understanding their own body language instead of reading other people's body language. And the idea of this program is that I want to know what it is that people know right now about body language, what it is that they know about their own first impressions, how do they feel about their own first impressions. So you work in this environment where you're constantly trying to make a good first impression, you walk in, you meet somebody, uh, maybe you meet somebody there, you're saying goodbye, you're bringing the check. So what I want to know is random questions about your overall knowledge of body language and how you think that affects you. What is that? It's a video camera. Oh, okay. No, 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 I, I'm, I'm not... so sorry to be... No... <laughs> I was like, what? Because <laughs> I, I, I was working on some pipes yesterday. It looks like a PVC pipe. Right? It it's just easy yeah, to I'll... handle that way because the pro cam the GoPros yeah. are very, very bulky. And this and one's of course, the glass. Well, the glass fits great. perfectly, man. It does. It's, it's amazing so nice. how Somebody... Well Wow. <laughs> That's nice. I'll walk over. I'll credit Twin Peaks for a yeah. job. So. Um, so, you know, the, where you work, you, you have to always make a good first impression. You rely on tips. You don't get a, a big chunk of money from this. So, my question to you, and I guess I could start with the first question, is how much are you aware of your own body language when you're meeting somebody? Um, I guess I'm not, I don't really pay attention to it, honestly. I never really, I'm nice to him, I like to, to show right. how are you, you know, like, make, make sure I'm friendly, but I never really considered my body language, honestly. Do they teach you here, or do they tell you here, you know, make sure you touch somebody once in a while when you're doing that? Yeah, they, that's the schmoozing, so it's that's like a little touch, you just be like, wow, oh. it's just... Do you know why? It kind of opens up, I don't know, for men, probably because, like, the touching a woman is like, oh, like, you know, they're, right. they're kind of, like, wild by it, you know? Yeah. So that's why, I, that's, why I, that's why I assume that, right? Do you think it makes you seem friendlier? You, so, actually, behind it, there's actual open. science behind it. When you touch somebody, you actually create oxytocin in their brains and your brain. And oxytocin is a bonding molecule, basically. So it makes you trust the other person, it makes you feel friendlier to right. the other person. And there's an actual study that's been done that when you bring somebody to check and you give them a little tap and you touch their hand, your tips can increase as high as 40% just by doing that, just one, that one touch. touch. That one touch. So, you know, of course, the handshake, when you first meet somebody, it has the same effect. Uh, it would take three hours for you to just converse with somebody to reach that same level of oxytocin that you reach by just giving a handshake to somebody. So, um, that's a good thing that they're teaching you that because it, it, it is actually absolutely necessary. And I see a lot of people here, I see a lot of waitresses that don't, they don't touch you. And I know that sometimes maybe they run the risk of, oh, I don't want them to think I'm being friendly, flirty, whatever, it is. I don't want them to follow me home. But it is actually science to act, so I'm glad that they're teaching that. And do you do that often? I do actually. Especially when I drop off the tickets, I'm like, oh, thanks guys, I'll come back and see you. Good, good, it. good. So, yeah, That's excellent. Really, yeah. You want to do it. What about eye contact? I try to maintain eye contact because I like to look at the nose or the mouth, but I try to keep looking at the mouth. Right. But, you know, I try to maintain it. So, eye contact actually produces oxytocin as well. So, even if you don't touch somebody by looking them in the eye, you actually create the oxytocin between the two of us as well. So, it does give you not as much as a handshake or a touch, but it does give you a lot of uh, oxytocin buildup as well. So, the trust and the sincerity that you want to achieve when you first meet somebody. Um, when you make a person, or when you meet somebody for the first time, where will you rate yourself as how they perceive you? What's your thinking behind your first impression? Do you come across as a non-approachable person? Do you think people approach you? I think I'm very approachable, honestly. Not just in this environment as my work, but even outside of work, I think I'm very approachable. I smile. Right. I can touch stuff like that. I think they're approachable. Smile. Big thing. Big thing. Right. Big, you want a big, big smile. See, see, see your smile. Right. So. Not one of those. Smirks, you, you know, know, you know this work. Once you get to Walmart, the kind of content, yeah. yeah, the nose or wrinkles. Not those ones, yeah. Right. We don't want those. Um, 
do you ever, outside of work, so you go to a club or you go to a meeting or you talk to other people, do people approach you uh, or do you feel like you don't send a vibe uh, that they could approach you do you think you're an approachable person? I, I do. I think I'm a very approachable person. Even if I have people approach me and ask me, oh, how did you get your hair like that? Or, how, your wing eyeliner looks so good today. Like, how you, what do you use? You know, stuff like that. Right. I'm very approachable. Okay. I, I like to think of myself as a friendly person anyway. So that's the way I see myself. I hope no one else doesn't think though. No, no. I mean, obviously, I think you are. Uh, I'm just wondering how you perceive yourself. Right. Uh, so I'm sure people do perceive you. Do you uh, do you get good tips here? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, well, it depends on who. Here. So the ones that don't give you good tips, do you think it's more them than you, or do you not have a connection with them? It could be a think? combination of both, but I think more or less it's, uh, it's usually the people that like don't know how to tip, so like the teenage boys, the teenage girls, and stuff like that. Okay. Mostly, most adults tip very Okay, okay. Uh, that's good. Let me see if I have another one. Um, oh, so. Body language in general. Have you ever read about body language? So what what is your overall knowledge of body language? I mean, I've seen like shows like Oprah and stuff like that when they talk about it or yeah. something, but I've never actually gotten like into depth about it. Anything, you know? So you didn't really read anything about it to when you start working here or anything like that. Just what they told us, like uh, to be approachable, smile, like like touch, move, and stuff like that. Do you think body language is universal? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All across? All across. Yeah. What if I tell you that it wasn't? It's not? No. Really? So there are certain things that are. So the micro expressions on the face. So happiness, disgust, anger, contempt, sadness, fear. All those are universal. They have been demonstrated uh, that it happens in Papua New Guinea or it happens here. However, body language in general is not universal. So eye contact, for example, here in the United States is completely acceptable. In fact, you want to maintain 70 or above percent uh, right. eye contact with somebody without being too creepy. Right. Or, yeah, or a little, <laughs> just like this stare. <laughs> or too little because then it makes you feel, people feel that you're not paying attention, you're ignoring them. However, Asian eye contact is actually considered a kind of disrespect. So when you really? deal with Asian customers, and they might not be looking at you in the eye, there's a reason behind it. I've never, I've been crazy. Yeah. It's, it's considered disrespectful. It is. So, so especially somebody that might be of authority, somebody at a higher level, they, they might look at you in the eye, but you are not permitted in a way right. to look at them. Of course, here people, uh, you know, know what to expect now, but you have to take that into consideration within the different cultures. So, uh, touch, for example, in certain cultures, actually a bad thing. So, I uh, had a friend of mine that she works at a school, and they're very friendly, they're all Latin American people, but the customers are not all Latin American, and this happens to be an Indian lady that was walking in, and she went and gave her a big hug, and she's like, no, 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 we don't hug. That's actually a bad thing, we don't touch. So, that's called proxemic, which is how close you can be in somebody's space. So right now, for example, you're in my personal uh, space right now, and I'm allowing you to be there, and you can tell that my body language is to change, but if you get too close to somebody, and you see him back out a little bit, or you try to shake their hand, and they look at your hand before they shake it, you know that you might be getting too close to them, and they're not okay with it. Right. So it's something to look into the proxemic part, because it's, you have a very detail here, and not everything's going to be universal. Right. So I'm glad that you know that now. Uh, so touch, eye contact, and proxemic is a big thing to look into for cultural, uh, the cultural aspect of it. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, it's so different. Like I thought it was the same, honestly, worldwide. Yeah. But it's not. Even the way we sit, I mean, you know, the cowboy style, the guys sit down, that's actually offensive in, in, like in the Middle East because I'm showing you this, the sole of my shoe, which is dirty. It's actually disrespectful it makes for sense. to do that. Right. So, you know, you can't assume, basically, you know, it's always cross-cultural. You have to put things into context as well. So, you know, if somebody's not looking you in the eye, there might be a reason behind this. So you have to kind of analyze why they could be doing that. Um, do you shake hands a lot? Not necessarily here, but Not here, general. really. Um, if someone, like, it's usually men that, like, put their hand out. Right. Nice to meet you. Then 
then I'll shake their hand, but not really. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. But when you meet somebody outside of here, do you... Meet somebody outside of here, I would shake their hand if they go for the handshake. I don't okay. usually go for it. All right. So but when I'm you meet somebody, to like, hi, how you doing? I'll say Yeah, I'm not opposed to it, honestly. Like, sure. Hey, hey I'm a big hugger myself. Right. Um, so the handshake part, you know, you have to... I was wondering if you interpret how people shake hands with you. Have you ever had a really, really bad handshake with somebody? I have. I've had a... Men usually like with a firm handshake. Right. I've had a guy do it and he was just like... He barely held my hand. Like, he was almost... He's a ragdoll. Yeah. Prince was like, he was like kissing floppy. Prince. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I've had those. And, yeah. Well, I've never had that. The thing is, not so much about... Yeah. Not so much about the handshake. Yeah. It's about the fact that you're going to be with them for a long time. Right. You know, you can't shake, change somebody's handshake, right? They give you the handshake and you're not going to... Hey, wait, wait. Let's right. fix this. But it's interpreting the handshake. There could be a reason why they're giving you a handshake like that. Uh, there's two types of handshakes that I'm very aware of when I shake hands. Well, the first one is the top dog handshake, which I come in, you know, from the top, shake your hand. What do you think I'm telling you? I'm dominant. I'm dominant, right? And I'm assuming that you're submissive or that I'm trying to dominate you like this. The opposite is I'm assuming you're the dominant one and I'm submitting myself to you. So, a lot of people, like I don't do this, I don't try to fix the handshake, but I'm just aware of what the handshake was like, so I know how the conversation is going to go. So, uh, keep that in mind as well. It'll tell you a lot about the person just with the handshake. But you want to touch as well, right? It builds a relationship regardless of how they give you the handshake. And if they come in dominant like this and you don't want to be dominated, you can always back to the shoulder a little bit. So if you are the dominant and then you come in, I can go, hey, how you doing? That kind of takes away from the dominant factor because now you're touching them even more than they're touching you. So keep that one in mind for us. Uh, yeah, every Indian so, when it comes to first impressions, do you have any kind of horrible stories about a first impression that you think you made that was just bad and you wish you could do it all over again? Do you want me to be honest? Yes. No. All right. Not that I can remember anything. I mean, I think that I've done everything correctly, but I mean, that's my opinion. Right. Somebody else can probably disagree, but I don't think so. You haven't heard, like, oh, what's wrong with her? No, I'm not here anyway. Good. Good. That's excellent. What about your hands? What do you do with your hands when you're sitting at a table, for example? <laughs> I guess I put them in my lap. Yeah. I guess that's where, that's where they are right now. So when you're interviewing for the job, what do you think you had your hands in your lap the whole time? Or? Oh, I know I did. Cause I you make did. sure my hands are like clasped, like together, kind of like the white knuckle, mm -hmm. so nervous about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So hands are, are actually one of our best assets. Our brains actually the first thing that they look at is the hands of the person, even though you don't think you do. That's what the brain needs to perceive you first because it needs to check to see if you're safe to talk to you about fighting for weapons, if your hands are not a threat to you. So, a lot of women have been taught to keep their hands on their lap, to be submissive in a way, and that brings down your shoulders, it puts you in a, in a position where you're not confident, you don't feel you know, great about yourself. Showing your hands, even when you're on a table, actually puts you in a better position than three hands under the table. So, always showing your hands is going to make me feel that you're a lot more approachable than I can trust you more than if I can't see your hands. So when you're standing, for example, a lot of people put their hands in the park. That doesn't resonate with me because then I'm thinking there's something that they're hiding. And if they're talking to me and they never take their hands out of their pocket, then I can't really make that connection with them. So my recommendation is so that you have your hands exposed and you're showing your, 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 the real deal, that you're open to all the people that you can trust in person. A person that they can trust. Um, how long have you been working here? Um, since May 28th. May 28th. All right, and before that, what did you do? I was waiting to so across the street actually. Oh, really? Okay. So why the switch? Uh, it's more classy here. Thank you. That's why I don't go to Redneck. Right. Here. <laughs> well, Stassi, thank you very much for your help with this. Uh, I'll be glad to share the video when it's online. Uh, it's probably going to be private for a while until I figure out if there's something. If I do share it, I will make sure that. I don't mind. You know, well, I might need to sign something okay. just in case. 
but I really appreciate your time because I just this is a new series that we're trying out, and I wanted to make sure that you know that we had the questions, and I wanted to see your reactions. You're to the good questions. at this interviewing and stuff. You can you tell think? it's naturally. I've never done this, so no, I'm, never, I'm, not I'm once. freaking out about it. Oh, well, you did pretty so. good. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good handshake. Always, <laughs> always firm, dry, and vertical. Right, right. That's what you want. Thank you. Thank okay, you, so I'll see you later, okay? All right, take care. Take it easy, sweetie. Let me uh, get oh, yeah, the mic. It'll drag everything out. <laughs> that would be a scene. <laughs> Thank you. You take it easy. Thank you. You too.